I welcome you to this session of ISO 14001-2015 and today we are going to talk about clause number 6.1.4, planning actions. Uh, the, uh, as usual, first of all, I'll read out the requirement to you as given in the standard. So, clause 6.1.4, planning actions. The organization shall plan A to take actions to address its significant environmental aspects and number two, compliance obligations. And uh, number three, risks and opportunities identified. And B, how to integrate and implement the actions into its environmental management system processes or other business processes. And number two, evaluate the effectiveness of these actions taken. When planning these actions, the organization shall consider its technological options and its financial operations and business requirements. So this is all in this uh, clause, this is a medium kind of clause. Let us discuss it now in more detail. So, as the title says, it is regarding the planning of actions to address risks and opportunities and to, uh, to make uh, the environmental management system more effective with respect to aspects and impacts as identified by us. So, in planning of actions, the very first thing is that the company or the organization it will plan to take actions to address significant environmental aspects. Well, significant env environmental aspects are identified by us and uh, we have to take care of those plus the compliance obligations. Compliance obligations are those obligations where there is a legal requirement uh, involved. So wherever there is legal requirement involved, those are compliance obligations and we have to take care of that. And number three is risks and opportunities uh, identified. So risks and opportunities have also to be taken into account while preparing our uh, uh, environment management system. And now B, how to, number one, integrate and implement the actions into its environment management system processes or other business processes. So we have to see how we are going to integrate the actions to be taken into the environment man management system or other business processes so that those things are practically taken care. And number two is evaluate the effectiveness of these actions taken. We have also to evaluate the actions of these actions taken so that we are sure that these, this system is going to work. It is going to deliver what we want, what we wish to deliver to the customer. And when planning these actions, the organization shall consider its technological options and its financial operational and business requirements. So all these aspects, including the technological options, that means the technology is available, what we can adopt for uh, making our system most effective, and uh, technological, what technological options we have, and how is the financial status of the company? How are the financial aspects uh, and operations and business requirements? So we have to take care of everything pertaining to the business requirement of the organization, the financial position of the organization, and what technologies we have at, uh, at hand available within the organization, or maybe we adopt it from outside for our purpose, so, so that we have to see the financial aspect of it whether we are in a position to buy new technologies or not. So this is how we are going to plan our uh, 
actions for preparing the uh, environment management system and making it effective. So that's all in this uh, clause. This is a, a small, very small clause. And I hope you have understood the requirement fully well. But by any chance, if there is anything which is not clear to you, please put your comment below this video so that uh, so that I can explain to you uh, those things which are not clear to you once again. And uh, if you are liking my videos, please give me a thumbs up, give me a like and also share my videos with your friends and colleagues so that they can also take advantage of whatever is discussion is taking place between us. And please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also press the bell icon so that as and when I load my videos, the information regarding loading of the video will reach you without any delay and you will be able to see my videos without delay. So thank you very much for watching my videos and next time we are meeting and to discuss clause number 6.2 environmental objectives and planning to achieve these objectives so this is what we are going to discuss on next sunday thank you very much for watching my videos bye bye and see you on next sunday bye